Okay, good evening, everybody. This is the uh, December 11th meeting of the Cunningham Conservation Commission. It is now 7 11 by the clock on the wall. My name is Sam DeMerritt. I chair the commission. To my left is Susan Mooney, who is the secretary. To her left is Paul Meliotis. And over to my right is, I figured out which one it was, uh, <laughs> is Liz Katowski, who will be sitting in for uh, Cheryl Smith. Uh, so we do have four people, so we are a quorum. Uh, let's see, announcements. Uh, I don't think we got any. The Bear Power Annual <coughs> Meeting will be the 27th of January in Hooksett. Um, probably starting around 9 o'clock in the morning. Probably registration is 8.30 or something like that. Um, do we know who the speaker is going to be? Uh, the speaker is going to be Mike Marchand from uh, Fish and Game. M-A-R-C-H-A-N-D? That is correct. Do you know what he's going to talk about? Uh, something to do with... Um, uh, you got our messages. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Dan! Not a quorum? Good thing we came. Yes, just be able to. So you guys are having a party or something? Yeah. No, no, oh, it no. sounds that way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, can, you, can you leave the door open a little bit just in case somebody wants to come in? Uh, oh, really? <laughs> there is a rock that yeah, was there rock, you know, somewhere. It, so we didn't get all, all the noise. <laughs> That's a good idea. I should have brought yeah. something. Yeah, uh, it was a turtle. Oh, is it? A turtle rock? <clears throat> but it's certainly colored like one. We were just talking well, about bear talk. 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 Uh, Do you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can answer uh, this what, question. <laughs> what, what, what is Mike Marchand's <laughs> official topic title? Is it, uh, not the topic? It's, uh, it's going to be talking about the non-game program and uh, different endangered and threatened wildlife. Okay. He's oh. now the uh, coordinator. John, John Cantor. Yeah. Um, can I ask a question based on that? Yeah. You prompted me to ask a question about the beaver. Oh, we'll talk so, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's from Stoddard, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I don't. So other than other oh, this is what you want. Dan, what do you what do you need to talk about today? Well, I was just trying to get an update on the town's review of the okay, Echo. I haven't, and I haven't heard anything. Okay, so it was three months ago that we gave you guys the yeah. documents, and we can't move forward until the town review them. Tell them they need to, because I need to pay it this year. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that doesn't give us much time. Um, it's is it on the Board of Selectmen's agenda? I don't know, I haven't seen their agenda, so I don't know what uh, we, we asked them to send it to the town attorney for a review. And, uh, nobody's gotten back to me whether they reviewed it or not. Have we gotten the final drafts for both? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, well, the final, meaning the final to you folks for any kind of um, questions or recommendations the town has. Yeah, because I remember the last at the last meeting, you came in and we discussed the camp, the yeah. rustic camp, and that hadn't been finalized in the draft yet. We had a couple of emails back and forth on that, though. I thought that yeah, was resolved. No, I, I thought we had agreed to leave it. <coughs> as it was? As it was. I, okay. I did make some edits based on the email traffic, but they were just small. Uh, I've got the mm. draft here. Uh, but I thought we were waiting for the town to review it. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, and I'll give you a copy, uh, we just added um, in Section 1D, uh, this is the property is open for public access, but not camping. Uh, we added there, and then we also added the same, similar type of language in uh, <coughs> Section 3. Uh, 
So the no, so the no camping is is still in the CE deed. It's, it's not I, that there's no. It's not that there's no camping. It's just there's no provision for public camping. John can approve camping if yeah, he. Yeah, John can camp or he could have. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> okay. potentially could have other people or allow other people to camp. But the um, the provision of public access is for pedestrian only. Yeah. Not only. Day use. Yeah. Um, so when John is no longer there to give permission, then that's the end of the camping. No, it will go to the next. But it will yeah, yeah, go the grantor the oh, okay. is the, whoever owns the property would, oh, okay. would determine that. So, so what it what it comes down to is the the owner of the property will determine. Um, well, the, the owner of the property is obligated to provide public access, which is just basically it's open, unposted. Um, but he's not required to allow people to camp Right. Um, I had a question, and I think it's on the section that we're talking about, but maybe not. Yeah. There, when I was out doing the monitoring with Celia, there's a trailer on the property, or across the way from John's house. He allowed somebody to put a trailer on the land across yeah. from his house, and I'm not sure whether that's on the property that's covered by this easement, or whether that's on the other yeah, land. Yeah, sure. I, I don't remember seeing one out there. It's just been, it was just uh, placed on the land within about the last three months. Oh, okay. Just a jar a yeah. little bit. With the rock. And yeah. with. A little bit further. No, closer. Yeah. Right, right up, close, almost closed, but not quite. But not latched. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I want to cut the noise down. <laughs> you know what? Let's just close it, and then somebody can knock if they want to come in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. It's not that's good. Good. Yeah. That's fine. Better? That's good. Yes. Yeah. Do you, want to, do you want to grab your little sign? Mm -hmm. it's, up, it's right in front of you, Paul. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <clears throat> so how best should we handle this? Do you want to email um, copies again to Sam, and he can bump them forward? Well, I think he already has. I think he, we just need someone who's dedicated to shepherding it through the town. Rat, rattle some cages. Okay. I'm going to probably have to stay on it. To make All right. Sure it gets okay. Sam will do that. Because yeah. you're counting on it being completed by the end of well, December. Well, well, that was you know, when we first started. Yeah, that was, um, the that survey's was the been completed. We're ready to go. And John wanted to complete it this year as well. Once they give the approval, it will be a matter of adding the property description and then arranging the closing. Uh, the, the one other item for you folks to uh, decide is well, to determine what kind of process you have to go through to uh, make any kind of payment to John. Because there may be a yeah. public We need to have a public hearing. Public hearing yeah. requirement. And that would have to be before. It, I'm not even sure if the select board is going to be meeting twice this month. I have to check on that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, if you could do that too, Sam, that would be great. And tentatively get get on the agenda for that. We can okay. always cancel. Okay. We were able to um, um, get some draft language for a warrant article that we would need for yeah you know I because we have deadlines on those too it, but yeah I've got to do that for you okay um, the candid piece I have paper I did look it up and I found uh, one done by Deerfield recently <clears throat> and I forgot to send it along <sighs> Everybody needs an agenda roller. I'm all set. You need an agenda? I got this one, but uh, just to write on it.
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Over that with them as well. Okay. But that's all I had. Okay. Well, thanks for making the trip. Yeah, no, no problem. <laughs> I, I have a, a quick question oh, for you yeah. that's related to the next topic on our agenda, okay. which is um, we've just started up a new trails committee. We had our first meeting last Thursday, okay. and um, I'd like to invite you to come in and speak to the Trails Committee at some point about projects, uh, properties in Nottingham okay. that have trails or that you think could lend themselves to that, and just familiarize people with that. So yeah, no, that'd be great. We meet on the first uh, Monday of, the or the yeah, the first Thursday of every month. So our next meeting will be January fourth. So that's a possibility. Um, or uh, the following month or the month after that, you know, yeah, first have to Thursday. Yeah, probably the month after that because I'm going to be in Spain. Okay, well, I will. Did you see Spain? No, I'm going to oh. be in New York. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was that away. I was in Spain. I was going to say, oh, that's a good place. Oh, in Spain. Spanish, Spanish, <laughs> Spanish Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So I'll be in touch um, and we'll, okay. we'll try to work that out and, yeah. and for a. Uh, one of the upcoming months this spring. So good. Thank you very much, Dan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I, I, while Dan's here, or, or he, can, he can stay as long as he wants. Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> well, don't be offended. How do you want to go home and have dinner? He wants to go out and play with the kids. I know. This is my second meeting tonight. So. Oh my. Um, well, thank you for coming. I hope it's the last thank one. Thank you. It is. It's it is. my second one. I thought I had three, but I only had two. You always have a lamprey meeting, don't you, on the yeah. same night? Have a good night. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night, Dean. And I'll be in touch. We'll set the time. Sorry about moving the chair. <laughs> seems, to, seems to have quieted down over there, so. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. hope that. Quiet For now. a little while, anyway. Do you want to um, seek Crystal for somebody? Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We put uh, Liz in for Cheryl, so I guess uh, Crystal can sit in for Deb if she'd like. Okay. Apparently Deb is not going to be here. Um, okay, next on my agenda is the Trails Committee report. We started up a Trails Committee uh, at the first meeting, uh, as uh, Liz reported, uh, uh, last Thursday. And I will let Liz and Crystal report on that. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah, we had a very good meeting the uh, first time. We met in this room, organized it with the tables in the middle, had a big screen and a computer set up so that we were able to actually look at a lot of websites, maps, photos, things like that, and, uh, da and uh, the database of uh, conservation properties that Christian was able to bring up on his computer for Nottingham. So it was a, it was a good, uh, good meeting. We all introduced ourselves, had a chance to find out what everybody's kind of skills and interests were. And uh, you know, from there, we talked a lot about the different conservation properties, some of which already have trails on them, some of which would never lend themselves to having <laughs> trails on them because of for one reason or another. But uh, we will be moving ahead and trying to uh, put some maps up online, uh, inventory, what we have, uh, go on uh, walks with the other committee members. We will be um, uh, eventually maintaining trails that exist, probably marking, putting kiosks up. This is going to be a very, very long range um, committee though. Nothing's going to happen terribly fast except possibly putting some maps up of um, properties that already have trails on them and that uh, we can at least let the public know about those properties. So that's a good start. Crystal has taken the lead on uh, uh, setting up a drive for us so that we can be looking at documents together and sharing and interacting. And, uh, you know, there will be some documents on there that are just going to be fairly static, just informational about particular pro um, properties. One thing that I'd like to see happen is for everybody on the committee to kind of adopt a property. 
um, just to become an expert on it and to do a presentation to the group about the property. Um, really become familiar with the kind of the history of it, the trails that are on it, trail potential, uh, the natural resources, the conservation values, things that need to be protected, and, uh, and eventually take the group on a walk of that mm -hmm. property. We'd also, and, and you know, give a presentation at an upcoming meeting and then um, go for a walk when we can uh, uh, get out on the ground. I'd also like to have people like Dan Kern from Bear Paw, Dwayne Hyde from Selt come in, talk to us about um, their big projects. There's a lot of potential for collaborating with them, uh, especially Selt right now with the Kennard Hill project, which involves uh, a lot of property in Epping, but which has access from Nottingham in two locations. We, uh, and the Sweetser and uh, Zanard properties are also part of that, in addition to the Harvey um, project, which was completed. It's also known as Applehurst LLC. Uh, so that area there is, is really huge, and uh, it is, the plan, as I understand it, from Southeast Land Trust is to have quite a bit of recreational access there. So we'll be, you know, hoping to learn more about their plans and collaborate or at least, you know, uh, help put some of their information out to Nottingham residents so they'll be more aware of that. Uh, we also would like to have perhaps somebody come in from a trails committee or two from adjacent communities and give a presentation about how they set up their trails committee and how they proceeded, you know, how long it took to do various things, what, what kinds of uh, work crews do they set up, you know, just, just learn from people who've done this before. So the people on our um, trails committee are Celia Abrams, former uh, Conservation Commission member, Christian Matthews, who is um, going to be our GIS wizard, wizard <laughs> head of our tech team. We nice. kind of will have a tech team and a grants team and, a, and uh, a build team and an outreach team. Of course, there are only nine of us, so several of us will be doing work on more than one team. Crystal will be on the tech team. She has a lot of skills in that area. Uh, we have Heather Aworski, who is um, a renewable energy expert and is starting to help with the Conservation Commission. We have Sam Demerit is on the committee and uh, our chair here, Jim Salji. He uh, is a physics teacher who has experience in writing and photography, and uh, he also has very good connections with CELT. Um, and uh, he's probably gonna take us on the walk for Kennard Hill and also kind of do some of the collaborating there. And then finally, we have Leanne Gast on the committee. She is uh, on the Historical Society and has you know, just great knowledge of the, and, and access to resources about the history of these properties. So something like the Miriam Daggett property, um, which has some historic resources on it, she'll be particularly helpful in you know, guiding us in how we can make that information available to the public here. And then Sue Mooney, is <laughs> good, who does everything, is also going to be <laughs> on that committee. So. Um, and uh, perhaps, and Deb Kimball, how could I forget Deb Kimball, who is, uh, I just noticed her name isn't on this list, uh, who is uh, not here tonight, but she's on the Conservation Commission, and she knows a lot about the history of these projects and uh, how to do things like uh, put together GPS tracking information that Christian will then take and to help turn into maps for us. So it was a good, a good uh, meeting. We look forward to meeting again on the first Thursday of every month. So that'll be January 4th for our next meeting. And what else would you like to add, Crystal? 
Liz, I thought that that was very comprehensive. <laughs> <laughs> I talked too long, didn't I? <laughs> no, no, it was concise and it was accurate. Um, uh, I, I don't, honestly, I just want to comment and say that uh, I thought that our, our first meeting as a trails committee was very productive. Um, and I think that there is a lot of skill and experience being brought to the table. Um, and obviously it's going to be a long process to accomplish everything that we want to do, but I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I, that we have all perfect. the tools we need. I just want to comment that I think this is awesome that we're finally doing this. We've yeah. been talking about it yeah. for a very long time. Well, uh, long before I was joined the committee. <laughs> um, and to have um, a website that has this information available is something I've been, and to know what properties there are that, that are out there, those that can be accessed and even those that can't, just so we know, mm. you know what's there. So thank you for Well, you're all welcome, you and I have to say, there's so much enthusiasm this and, <laughs> on this group. Um, and doing A lot of stuff. talent. Well, the and volunteers. As a town person, I am extremely good. It's wonderful. The volunteers <laughs> that have stepped up from the community have really yeah made a big difference. Well, we invite the public to get involved. We uh, will be putting information, uh, there's a little bit right now, our last agenda so far, um, on the uh, town website under the Conservation Commission because this is a subcommittee of the Conservation Commission. And uh, let's see, I also have just set up an email account so that people, and that'll be on the subcommittee area of the Conservation Commission. If people in the community are interested in knowing more about it or have skills to offer, want to get involved with a, a work group at some point, uh, a trail crew, um, they can contact the committee at that email address. Mm -hmm. It's separate from my personal one, but it's one that I'll be checking regularly. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't obviously looked at the, <coughs> the website the committee is set up, but um, is it on the town website known as the NCC? Is it a, a big item so that people who look at the town will will see? It isn't yet. I mean, we are just we don't no, raise no, I, expectations. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> but it, at the moment, it's just you have to go to the Conservation Commission, and under that, it says Trails Subcommittee. I'd kind of like it to say Trails Committee, mm -hmm. even though it is a subcommittee. We understand that. Um, and, there, and Dawn put a nice little picture of a trail sign on there, oh, a little great. graphic, which is wonderful. And um, we need to uh, finalize kind of our description of what the group's purpose is. Mm -hmm. You know, that can be revised and revisited, you know, later on. But we want to get something up there mm -hmm. pretty quickly so people understand. And... Uh, it, eventually, when we have something of substance there for people, we hope that maybe there can be something maybe on the main part of the website that would lead people there. And with links maybe from the recreation page, there's a natural resources page on the website, you know, that, that has like a link to the Marston property. I mean, that's something that this committee can look at too because mm -hmm. they want to have like a one-mile loop trail around and so there's a lot of coordination that can happen mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with um, different groups. I know that the schools are probably interested in uh, being involved with, because they have trails out in their backyard. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's gonna, we're gonna be a busy group and hopefully you know, the enthusiasm will stay. Maybe we should meet more than once a month. <laughs> We'll take it one step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I could meet once a week on this I myself. Like, but let's get it done now. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I know. Everybody's excited. Of course, it's winter. Yeah. So the possibility of going out on walks is a little bit reduced. But we can be do doing a lot of groundwork and mm -hmm, certainly, like mm -hmm. I say, talking to people like Dan and other trails committees and uh, Grant, looking at and Grant's. Dwayne and talking about, you know, kind of their big picture, their vision for some of the properties that are in Nottingham, I think it's really exciting mm -hmm. to, uh, to see how much conservation land there is here. Mm -hmm. And like I said, some of it is too small. It would be kind of, we don't want to put trails everywhere. No, no. But and there we are don't some need places, to either. And we don't need to. 
but we can still at the same time let people know that certain properties are available for public access yeah. but won't have trails on them. Right. Okay. Great. Yeah. There's something Perfect. really wonderful about at least knowing that it's there and, you know, even if it's just somebody that's pulling off on the side of the road and, and wandering into the woods for a minute, you know, there are great things to discover uh, in those areas. So oh, for sure. Leaving some places wild for that adventure aspect. And that little walk I went on with Paul and others from Bear Paw, remember on the Kimball uh, Family Forest? Oh, the Kimball Family Forest, yeah. I mean, it's a very small property. A lot of wetlands, and we saw so many like dragonflies and sundews and just all kinds of things on yeah. that on that trip. Yeah. And we yeah. were just kind of wandering around at a very slow pace. I, you know, I wouldn't really want to see a trail mm -hmm. there personally, but you know, we'll consider if that was something that Dan and Bear Paw wanted, mm -hmm. we could talk about it. Mm -hmm. I would leave that up to them since it's they're their the property. lead on that. It's their property. It's their property, <laughs> and it's, but we. But in um, places like the North River Preserve, which is Bear Paw property, you know, if there are things that they want done, maybe we can help with that. Mm -hmm. there, there is a trail already on that property. Sure. You know, on the on the eastern side of the river. Yeah, with a nice kiosk, yeah. and and that that is a lovely little trail. They own quite a bit. That preserve goes over the river and and abuts the Mulligan Forest. Yeah. So I don't know whether you know he has thoughts about. I'd certainly pick his brain about that. Mm -hmm. About would he see an opportunity to you know expand the trail? He did mention in something he had written earlier that was online that he, he it had crossed his mind. I know. Mm -hmm. So we would just have to see. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Putting some sort of a bridge across there it might be a monumental project. It could be a monumental project, and yeah. It, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. but uh, I, it, it certainly would. You might be able to walk it in in low water times. He did. It did say that, and one of the things that I read was that in low water you could walk across there. Um, but it's one of the things that we can take a look at. So we, uh, especially, I should say, would like to be able to. Uh, make Mulligan Forest, um, kind of spruce it up a little at this point because the kiosk is overgrown and the trail isn't isn't marked. We could make that information since the trail network already exists. We could make that a little better. It's uh, probably um, premature, but I'm thinking with the bridge across the North River, thinking of what they've done up in Jackson for their ski touring. And they have oh, that's um, like true. a little covered bridge that's just dedicated for cross-country skiers that go goes across their river. Yeah. Mm. That would be very charming. Yeah, I, I had something happen. This is quite an aside, but years ago, I directed a national orienteering event down in Connecticut. And about two weeks before the event, uh, there was a huge storm, and it, it uh, took the bridge out that went from the parking lot over to where everything was going to happen. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, what do I do now? I, you know, I had hundreds of people registered for this event. And I talked to the state park. <laughs> they were terrific, the staff there. And I said, can you build me a bridge, please? <laughs> and, they say, and they said, yeah, I think we can do that. Oh, my gosh. They wow. built the most amazing bridge over a pretty good sized river <laughs> um, and they, they took it down afterwards because yeah. it wasn't oh really to um, to the standards that they mm -hmm. would want for mm -hmm. a permanent bridge mm -hmm. but they built us an amazing temporary bridge that uh, that uh, served us well for yeah. that yeah. so it was <laughs> and that would probably have been a, a longer, bigger bridge than what we would need over the North River. <laughs> so anyway, those are things to be dealt with in the future, but at least we've got to start. Yeah. Well, well thank, thank you. you both. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks to everybody on the gosh. committee. <laughs> I have them right in the corner of them right here. Okay, next on my agenda is easement monitoring. Uh, we called off the Saturday one because we thought we were going to get inundated with snow when we were going to do it. And of course, the snow didn't come in until noon. Noon. 
You know, we probably could have gotten uh, you know, that first section done in the, in the highlands. Well, the snow may all be gone by tomorrow. I mean, it's going to get really cold, though. Yeah. That's going to freeze. Yeah. <coughs> We're going to get some rain. Snow again tomorrow? Well, a little bit here yeah. with rain. With yeah. rain. Uh, and then it's going to freeze. And that's going to be rain. really cold. Yeah. We have until next Monday because we have a 10 day window with them. Oh, okay. Um, so there's a possibility that we could get out and just do something um, modest. But the other thought is if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, oh. you know, because it's dangerous. Well, we'll see how we'll see yeah, what Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, we <clears throat> probably won't be going out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna be okay. What? Isn't it going to be okay in the morning? Or is that when it starts? It's supposed to start snowing. Yeah, it's supposed to start snowing at 5 a.m. <coughs> All right, never mind. It's going to be a tough one tomorrow, I think. And uh, Celia and I had gone out on the Ternenko monitoring okay. yeah. with John, and that was very productive. Did you get out there with her, too, Sam? I know she was talking about no, bringing you out to see... Uh, where some trail signs were, or some uh, uh, I, boundary uh, signs uh, were. She, she, uh, we talked in the library about you know what those things are out there, and yeah. I've been talking. I guess tried to get hold of the abutter, well, the, the the guy in Lee that has the right signs on his property. that are a little bit confusing, I guess. Yeah, it's unclear. It's almost as if. He doesn't mind the trail being there, but he doesn't want anyone to go beyond there. And if that's the case, then that's great because yeah. then people could continue on that existing trail through that little bit of his property. Well, apparently, he's so, had some problems with <coughs> vandalism on the on the property, and that's why he's got it posted now. Yeah. So should Celia and I finalize the report. monitoring report? Yeah. Or I was a little unclear. She seemed to think that maybe. She would include some information from a visit with you as well. So I. Okay. Well, we, I've I've talked to her at the library after uh, yeah. uh, after the uh, adult games and gab. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. We'll we'll wrap that one up, and then anything that you do with her later, we can put into the next one. Okay. Um. <coughs> Kristen had emailed me uh, regarding uh, walking Kimball. Yeah. She asked me to get medallions, nails, and ha a hammer along with a map. And I'm wondering if anybody could maybe lead me to finding those so that I can bring those to her. She's unable to make the meeting tonight. I have um, medallions and nails. Oh. And monitoring, <laughs> monitoring <laughs> form. Wonderful. Uh, this, I packed this up for um, Highlands. Okay. Um, you probably, this is like the one page um, cookie version for Highland gauge restriction, but there's a two page one that I had recently sent out. Okay. That's, that's um, for the regular properties. Okay. But you're talking about um, Kimball. Yes. Right. Would that be, right. I should just look for that in my email somewhere? Um, I, I think I just sent it out like last week because Celia had an, another. Oh, I have a form I can oh, give you. you. Okay. You can, I mean, um, I'm sure you'd like it electronically. But. So he, oh, here are the medallions. And what I've, I also packed for Sharpies because sometimes on the medallions there are notes. Okay. that might need to be gone over, and then aluminum nails. Okay. So you would need a hammer. Okay. Um, should we, are these the only nails we have, Sam, do you know? Um, so I'm, I might have some, I don't know. Okay. So how many um, medallions do you need? That's probably more, more than enough. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Is this something that we could? You, generally, the, everything's on a box on top of the file cabinets, cabinets in the back. Okay. And then there's a, um, a four-drawer cabinet that's dedicated to, to conservation. So in there, you can find, like, forms and, and um, histories and maps, yeah. things like that. Take it, take it after the, after the <laughs> meeting. We'll take a walk <laughs> after the <laughs> meeting. Are you and Chris okay. are doing that together, or are you um, just going to try to figure I'm, it out? I'm not going to be able to make it her uh, and Heather uh, it looks yeah. like they're going to try and do it on either the 18th or the 27th. 27th but is, she sent out an email yeah, just before the 27th we had this meeting, and she said 
she's doing the Kimbo monitoring on 1227 okay. with Heather and, and maybe, maybe Crystal. Yes. So um, uh, that's, that email went to you to Susan. So oh, it did. It's, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably had probably had and Sam. downloaded. Yeah. It was the one where she time. said she couldn't come to the meeting, so you'll you see want, it all on the same. You want me to give, give, get that stuff to her? Because I'm going to see Ed on Wednesday at the planning board meeting. If you're able to. And I can just, sure. if I remember, I'll just give those to Ed. Sure, okay. yeah, because uh, I was just figuring sense. since I couldn't make it, I'd at least okay. maybe try and get them to her. But if that is convenient. Yeah, very, very yeah. much so. Okay. And she sent you a copy of it, too. Yeah, you're listed on that, so you should have it. <clears throat> You could share. That would be 551. Huh? I could drop them off on the way home. We drive right past their house. That's true. Why don't you just pass those down? <laughs> <laughs> Many Perfect. hands make light work. Wonderful. <laughs> that is great teamwork. <clears throat> but um, we'll check on the maps no, we'll before you before you leave. In the cabinet. No, yeah, yeah, in the in the filing oh, cabinet. Oh, okay. If you want a, want a map, but I think um. Um, I think Kristen's walked that property a, a number of times. Right, but still. Yeah, really still, still to good help. It yeah. probably still helps. And yeah. there are other dates for a walk? Was it the Highlands that needs to be scheduled yet? Uh, yeah, we're doing the Highlands. We're going to try to, you know, do them. Uh, we're do them by Which the one day. got canceled? Was it the Highlands? Highlands, that was last Saturday. Yes. Do you still need someone from Mendham's? I'm doing yes. that. Yes, you and I usually the two do of you? Is that part okay. of Highlands. Uh, yeah, we have done, yeah. Cel Celia said maybe she's having surgery this week, mm -hmm. so she wouldn't be able to, to determine if she could go until maybe Thursday-ish. But, but we're planning to do Mandem's on the 16th. 16th, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I've got that on my well, calendar. I can't do the 15th, but what about the well, 16th Highlands is a is Saturday. Weekend? Saturday, yes. <coughs> 15th is Saturday? 16th. The 16th oh, is the Saturday. 16th. Oh, I thought you said 15th. For, no, that one's for Mendham's, not Highland. So are you all set for mendums with people? We no. don't know. Celia is a question mark. And it's, it's helpful if we have four, so we can have two teams. Yeah. Yeah, that's just this coming Saturday. Well, keep me in, keep me in the loop. I don't have my calendar with me. All right. I don't Wait. think we have anything on the calendar for Saturday. Uh, we'll be nine, at nine o'clock, we usually meet. I have so much family stuff squished into this weekend. I don't know how I'm going to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was doing all family stuff this past weekend. So that would be starting at 9, Raylene. Yeah. 9 a.m. Yeah, we, 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 we have you done that do one before, like, Mendham? A couple hours. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I did that one last yeah, year. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. easy. I liked it. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, did, did we want to try to do something, schedule... Um, um, a Highlands yeah. now, yeah, and then see what happens. Uh, what your schedule look like for Wednesday or Thursday? Open, open, open. Thursday's going to be the real cold snap, though. Snap, though. We meet on the road, right, at Mendham's on that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, right on the Mendham's Landing Road. Yeah. So, so this is I'm open unless you know unless yeah. I get a call at the school. But if I've got something on the calendar, I just say no. Okay. Um, okay, you got, you got plenty of, well, this would That's be in the one, evening. Right? It would be in the morning. So, if you want to do Wednesday morning, like one of the, one of the, uh, Yeah, let's try, let's try Wednesday morning, Sam. Yeah, okay, and then we'll. Highlands, what, do you want to start like 8.30? Or do you want to do 9? Let's do 9. It's more gracious. And what do you have on, on Monday the 18th? Uh, I can't do it. I got lunch, okay. lunch bunch at noon time. And, uh, well, maybe we can do the 13th and 14th back yeah, to back or the yeah. 15th. Or send a drone in. Wouldn't that yeah. be nice? Oh. Yeah. I could do the nineteenth, but I mean I What's the nineteenth? Tuesday. Do you think think they're gonna send the cops after us if we go on the nineteenth? Let's see what happens. I'm gonna put it in. 
We'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see any other reasons? I guess that was done. Um, yeah, friend back for friend. beginning of November. Okay. I think that's it. Those are the only ones we've done. I guess that's it. Okay. Um, they've already kind of already reported on that, so that's, I don't think I need to do any more on that. Um, oh, the breakfast in the barn is set up for the. That's uh, a fundraiser. Twenty seventh of April, I believe. May seventh. Yeah, it's a Saturday. Uh -huh. the last Saturday in, uh, oh, that'd be the 28th. 28th. Okay, it's 28th. <coughs> oh, can't make it. Okay. You're already booked in April? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of stuff on the calendar already in April. Another bridge somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think I will, will make the breakfast in the barn this year. I haven't made it the last two years because it always has interfered with the uh, timeshare I have up on... Uh, Mount Desert Island. Oh, I'm Mount jealous. Island, it is. <laughs> Not dessert. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know if it's dessert because they deserted the place. Or, it's just it's the, not, the, it's way, the way the locals say it's, it. It's well, not, it, is it, it, yeah, it is and it isn't. When I used to have a post office box in Mount Desert, and that's how the post office people called it was Mount Desert. They Mount said, Desert. oh, those tourists, they like to call it dessert. So I don't know. I've heard locals yeah. call it yeah. both. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I've yeah. always called it Mount Desert because there's only one S. But I mean, right. I, I think if you desert, <laughs> then there's there's only one S too. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thought. Okay. Um, the LRA, uh, LRWA report. That's like we River Watershed Association. We met tonight. Uh, was it late this afternoon? Um, and. Uh, Talking about maybe doing uh, you know some different stuff on the um, uh, volunteer river assessment program, uh, adding some some other uh, things, maybe collecting samples and running them over to somebody's house and getting them to. Be Are they, they going to do like E. coli or, or any kind of yeah, coliform yeah, they, bacteria? They do it at. Uh, there are some of the places that. Um, Lady who's in charge of it uh, tests uh, in on the la on the mainstream of the lamprey in a few places, and they run it to the uh, one of the wastewater treatment plants in Brentwood or oh really or Newmarket? I don't, I don't think they do it, do it in Newmarket because apparently Newmarket can't test for E. coli. Oh okay. I don't know why. <coughs> Because they're brackish? Wait, is this the lab that can't test for it? Or? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Is this, uh, they no, just don't have the kit. Maybe, That's what it is. Yeah, maybe they Kids send it out to uh, somebody else, you know, <coughs> Durham or Brentwood or whatever. I don't know. <coughs> can send it to the <coughs> DES, too. So. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, they're, they're looking to add some stuff. They're, they may be reducing the number of um, test points on the river. But well, we can still keep our three, yeah. three points here in Nottingham. Let's uh, about it on that. No, let's see. All right, let's do it. Do it in correspondence, I guess. Okay. Okay. I do have uh, apparently a copy of the plans for the. at the state park. Mm. When you say new dock, what, yeah, what's what, this? what are you talking about? Oh, uh, they putting in a new, what It's going to be a, um, a, a seasonal. Yeah, seasonal dock. Uh, it'll be, be pulled up in the winter time. Where is it going to be located? Well, I think uh, it's, Okay. Let's see if I can find it. They're going to remove a 30-foot existing dock, which is probably this one. 
that one out. Uh, I'm trying to see where it is on the. Well, I guess I. Are you sure this isn't the new one? They have plans yeah. for the yeah, new one. The new one is going to be 60 feet long aluminum. <coughs> okay. There is one that's kind of a corral that where boats hook up kind of close to this location. Okay. Yeah, that's protected. Mm -hmm. I'm. That looks like. Look at that. See if I where this is. They've got this, this outline here, which is... Okay, the beach is here. It's, it's the right beach there. is here. That's their parking lot. Mm -hmm. okay, so That's the beach parking lot. So it's apparently in... Let's see. Well, that doesn't make... Where they have an existing one right now is... Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's right in, right in here. Over in here. Yeah. Over, yeah, there's the beach. Over in here, there's the store. Yeah. And they have an existing kind of a corral in there where mm -hmm. the boats can come. So but it's not a boat launch, per se. No. Uh, it's a There's an X right here. It's a oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's the same location then, right yeah. there. Yeah. All right. So they're going to have one sticking way out instead of the... Yeah. So this yeah. going to be twice yeah. as long. Yeah. Is that where their canoe rental it's is? It's near there. Okay. Yeah, it's near there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Wow. How long is it going to be? 60. 60 it feet. Be 60 feet. With, uh, What's hmm. their plan for this? I mean, what, I, I don't when know. I say that, I mean, what is what are they planning to What's use it for? I mean, I have uh. seen the state park uh, in, you know, the, the middle of the day in the height of summer. Um, and if this is their canoe rental area, they do seem to not have enough space mm -hmm. to put everybody on the water that they're... Yeah, that's probably it, then. But this is... Because the other one, you got nothing to pay a fund again. <clears throat> yes, this won't be a boat launch. This will be a place to tie up, it sounds like. Yeah, tie it up or... Uh, Put in It does say it's a public access dock, so it looks like folks can bring their personal hmm. canoes and kayaks. Interesting. Okay. And when are they putting this in? I'd like in the spring or something? Well, yeah, it'll probably in the spring because it'll be seasonal. We'll pull it out in the wintertime. Okay. I have to look at this map here. See where. Has anyone here ever been to Devil's Den? Neither have I, but I was across the way, across Dead Pond last week, yeah. and I heard voices coming from a, I could see that area mm -hmm. over in the park, and I'm like, I don't even know where that is, but there are people there. Okay. It's approved yet. This is just the final plans. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. this, this, this is all a state. Agency stuff, so I'm okay. So, we're just this 60 is a courtesy dock yeah. in the same area as currently. So, are you going to make comments on that, or is this just an FYI? Or just FYI at this point, mm. I, mean, I, don't, I haven't seen any. Permits or anything like that. So I don't know if we did we have one earlier. Mm -hmm. What was that? Print it out all as soon as I can get it. And then we've got a, another one for a, uh, a lot line adjustment of the property that comes out on the Smoke Street. Um, uh, Give a map uh, in a lot number. Uh, yeah. yeah, tax map 23, lot 7. Moving the lot line and so, uh, 
suppose common drive. Why do we have oh, the no, sand? No, this is are there any wetlands or anything? Or why would we have this? No response required? No, it's already been approved by the Nottingham Planning Board. <coughs> I don't see any reason for us to have that. Just FYI again. Mm -hmm. okay. For no reason. Yeah. Was there any uh, note on the outside, or was it just kind of shoved uh, just, in the box? Uh, just shoved in the box. <laughs> an extra present for you. <clears throat> now, I'd like things like that that don't require our approval and really don't have anything to do with our committee, do we keep no, those? No, not usually. It doesn't seem uh, like... Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll file them in there. In really? There. Just in case we have to refer to them eventually. Okay. Uh, oh, well, oh, shoot, I didn't bring that. Well, uh, okay. I guess the next thing uh, was. Was that it for correspondence? Hmm? Was that. For, oh, I'm sorry. You're still doing that one. Yeah. Never mind. Okay, we got the. Um, some emails from me. Stoddard Conservation Commission. Oh. And they're, okay. they're asking for our Conservation Commission to support House Bill 1343. This bill benefits conservation by strengthening the protection of beavers, mainly through better reporting of beavers taken out of season and the removal of their dams. First, uh, the first thing it says is no person shall destroy or disturb or interfere in any manner with the dams or houses of beavers, except as provided in paragraph two. Uh, <coughs> without first obtaining a special permit from the executive director of Fish and Game. Uh, notwithstanding paragraph one, this is paragraph two, notwithstanding paragraph one or any other <coughs> of law or rule of the, of the executive director or the Department of Environmental Services, mm -hmm. A landowner, the landowner's agent, or any town, municipal, or state official, or employee, or their agent may destroy beaver, remove beaver dams, or install beaver pipes or beaver fences on property under their control to protect property, public highways, or bridges from actual or potential damage or submersion. Dam removal and the installation of beaver pipes or fences, this is part of the new part that went in, shall be allowed without a permit under RSA 482-A, if machinery does not enter the water in filling or dredging in or adjacent to surface water, wetlands or their banks does not occur. <clears throat> Removal shall be done in a gradual manner that does not allow a sudden release of the impounded water so as to cause <coughs> erosion, siltation, or safety hazard downstream. Uh, down in section <coughs> three, um, the executive director shall, uh, it originally said may, but shall require the reporting of beaver taken and beaver dams removed pursuant to paragraphs one and two by rules made in accordance with RSA 541-A. The report shall include a summary of actual or potential damage or submersion protection measures taken and a list of non-lethal options considered for each project. Um, and down to five, the next change is the executive director or his or her <coughs> agent shall provide advice relative to beaver control techniques, including beaver pipes and beaver fences when requested, and shall post such advice on the Fish and Game Department's public internet website. And, uh, the effective date, the act, will take, the act shall take effect 60 days after, after its passage. You know, 
So they really just want to have more input into the process and a, more reporting. On, more reporting. On mm -hmm. what happens and have yeah. So you can fishing. still do it anyway as long as you tell them about it. Well, they'll, pro they'll provide guidance on different methods, I guess. I read a fantastic art article recently on uh, flow management and basically confusing beavers. Uh, so it's essentially just a PVC pipe that has fencing around it, so mm -hmm. the beaver is unable to discover where the water oh, is. Oh, this is the beaver through. deceiver, yeah. Yeah, the beaver deceiver. Oh my gosh. Yeah, very simple. Very simple, but. They, had to, they put a man under our, a road that I lived on at one point because Beaver had completely flooded the Oops. state highway. <laughs> that was in Massachusetts, but uh, it worked very effectively. <laughs> but it, it was we, it was done in collaboration with Fish and Game down there. If we want to. Fish and Wildlife. Um, Are there any attempts to restock Beaver? Restock? No, they just travel they? anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they're the on young the go. ones will just will move on. <laughs> right. yeah, you know, when they run mean. out of one food source, they move up further. Because you know. there was a beaver apple trees. house in our property when we first moved there, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then the dam got washed away several times with mm -hmm. floods, um, yeah. bad weather, and they they gave up. And I've often thought it would like to restore uh, that pond. Well, if the if the wood if the food source comes back, then they may. There was a food source. There was no dam. You know. yeah. We have beaver activity in Potakaway Lake right now. Yeah. There is beaver activity. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we can see all their little chomp 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 marks. You know, we did have a couple dams taken off out on the North River within the last year or two. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I guess all the beavers are trapped out. Are trapped out? We're trapped, uh, you know, mm. they, either before yeah. or after they took the dams down. One, one of them right there on uh, very close to the north side of uh, Freeman Hall Road. Kimball Forest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah actually, I guess I heard about that one. They, they and, uh, took it out <coughs> mechanically. But and there was one, up, I think, upstream of, of uh, your place. Right. And that's, you know, Taken out. Deerfield Road, too. By, by mechanical means. Why? <clears throat> I don't know. I think a developer bought that property and didn't want to deal with the fact that Beaver could raise the uh, level water, of the swamp. Water level. Because that's exactly what they wanted to put in the, the driveway. But e er, Kristen's email is suggesting that she reviewed this and. I'm looking at the letter from the Stoddard Conservation Commission, and they detail in that letter that you enclosed that there were problems with that they didn't reply to any of the things. So they wanted us to sign on to this initiative to uh, increase the chances of the bill getting uh, Past because there were enough incidents, but um, her email, uh, Kristen's email, gives uh, other information uh, about that it's beneficial to New England cottontail, mm -hmm. and so I th I think we have to record uh, uh, take some kind of a vote to oh yes agree definitely. with that. Yeah. Um, so to do that, I think we have to look at what um, Kristen's comments were, mm -hmm. because that will give us more information as to uh, why they didn't enforce it and why the bill is necessary. Well, is that something that you could read to us now so we would be able to take a vote tonight? When will they be hearing this bill? Uh, chances are it's not till after the first year. Well, it said the first thing is January the 1st, uh, Action. They won't be meeting January first, but other than that. No, it it, it was uh, that the. Is it to take effect January first? Well, we won't be no. meeting again to vote until. Right. No, they're probably going to recess for the holidays and then right. come back. Right. We would meet. We would meet on the eighth of January. Right, but I think I the Stoddard Conservation Commission is the one that's uh, asking for us to sign on. 
Right, and so they, they can send a compendium of and, signatures. And they give a timetable as to why, you know, we need to. So uh, I'm, I'm just going on what Kristen's email <coughs> is, is uh, saying. So I could read you that email because that's uh, relevant and she can't come to the meeting. Uh, so why don't I do that? Um, um. So this, this um, um, correspondence from the Started Conservation Commission doesn't say, can you send it to us by a certain date? Uh, let me let me get to. Or you first. may prefer to write your own le letter to the legislatures. Right, uh, I am st uh, Kristen's uh, reply to NCC agenda six o'clock five fifty one. Uh, it says I am still working and not likely to make the meeting. Unfortunately, I am doing the Kimball monitoring on twelve twenty. I am doing the Kimball monitoring on twelve twenty seven with Heather and maybe Crystal. I am in support of the beaver monitoring measure for the reasons stated in the proposal and also because beaver naturally create habitat for critical species like the New England cottontail that otherwise have to be man-made through expensive initiatives. I had, I, uh, so I, does anybody know about how that works? I, I couldn't, I don't know enough about these, these species. Well, it, but I, I, she it was does hard give, for me to understand how the cottontail benefits from the flooding that's caused by beaver. Do you know? Uh, through the creation of early successional habitat, yeah, the flooding early will successional. create great um, like scrub shrub habitat mm -hmm. um, that provides cover for, for a native cottontail. Um, oh, okay, good, mm -hmm. thanks. Taking down the big trees to allow the shrubbery to grow up. Got it. And also yeah. they create meadows from a lot of the wetlands. Eventually mm -hmm. they grow up to uh, kind of like bog marsh habitats. And in those habitats, New England cottontail do very well mm -hmm. because they get protection and there's more natural type food. Oh, thank um, you. So what, what she's saying is, and she attaches to this, um, some um, uh, <clears throat> announcement minutes. Uh, no, this is this is on the request from that she was sent from the Stoddard Conservation Commission. Those. Um, things that she apparently took from that and reviewed those. Mm -hmm. And that's where this second part comes. But because she can't be here, um, I'm, I'm asking that we read what the, what the commission uh, review status is and whether we uh, can go ahead and vote on is there any reason not to vote tonight not that i can see <laughs> yes the emotion yeah, according to this the bill will first go to the fish and game and marine resources house committee right. that could happen as early as as january that's right what they okay. did the so we have time one email uh, one email <laughs> to the committee will reach all the committee members the bill will then go to the full house for voting if it passes the House, the next stop would be the Energy and Natural Resources Committee of the Senate, followed by voting in the full Senate. And then, of course, it goes, if they pass without any amendments or anything, then it would go to the governor for his signature. Do we need a motion tonight? I move that we write a letter of support to the Stoddard Conservation Commission. Uh, regarding House Bill, does it have a number? 1343. Of course, we have the option of, of signing on. Just, the, just we could signing? Sign on, or we could just send our own uh, correspondence directly to the committee. 
show, is that right? show, show Raylene that. This yeah. is the letter that we would be uh, endorsing. Right, exactly. And if they have enough conservation commissions that sign on to this, this means that the uh, commissioner would then be more likely to feel because they've had a, a review problem where we've reported problems to them about dams taken out mm -hmm. by non-fish and game people, which is supposed to be illegal. So was this initiated by a conservation commission? Started. Started. And, uh, and several this? people uh, wrote, uh, and, and these, uh, this letter was December 4th that started, asked us to sign on. So that's why I'm, uh, this, this is the email of Monday, December 4th. So we need to move on this mm -hmm. so they can. The, the, the sponsors of the bill are uh, <coughs> uh, Representative Matthews from Rockingham County. Right. And Representative Francis or Francesi from Rockingham County. Mm. And Carolyn Matthews, and I don't know, uh, she's from Raymond. I'm, uh, I'm not sure who the other fellow is, the other person is. Yeah. Yeah, and, and here's the joint. It says uh, on this, on December 4th, um, here's, the, here's the joint letter we are inviting your Conservation Commission to join in signing attached to this. Is that that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think that. You, you could say, um, we, the undersigned New Hampshire Conservation Commissions. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, th that we endorse the letter um, from Started Conservation Commission to support House Bill. And in this is the information about the beaver dams generating nutrient rich for plants. So if we pass this, do we just send them a letter saying we support or do we? Yeah. Have to I, I think that's what they're asking us to do. You don't have to sign it. <coughs> just, um, <coughs> take a picture of it and send it that way. Just send them a letter saying we support. Or just an email saying we support it. Yeah, yeah I think that's yeah. what just they want. Just an email, email saying. I think they want enough. Say by, by a, the vote, no, the it, add our name to their list of people endorsing the yeah. letter that they're sending. That sounds yeah. good. Right. Do, do you want me to read this, Raylene, and see if it's okay for you? Mm -hmm. um, Raylene moves that the <coughs> Nottingham Conservation Commission endorses the letter from Star Started Conservation Commission to support House Bill 1343 to strengthen protection of beaver communities. Yeah. Okay. okay. So is that's there, the motion. Second. Second. Oh. Yeah. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Just the ayes have it. We'll get one thing done. <clears throat> so you're going to take care of that, Sam? Yeah. Uh, Sam will do. What was that date, um, Paul, from the um, Started Conservation Commission? Their email to us was um, uh, the email. Uh, this email is December, Monday, December 4th, uh, from Susan Mooney to Sam Demerit. And these were for inclusion. Uh, for the meeting Monday, I think our last meeting. Okay. So that request was sent to us okay. on December 4th. But I don't know when Sam... Uh, no, yeah, that's, that's uh, from Sam Demerit 
on Monday, December 4th. Can I just see those other papers? See, I'm just a then I'm just going to have to. And that email has has all the links on it, so you can. Yeah, yeah, for references. Yeah, I got the, yeah. Uh, the email address here. Yeah, I just wondered if I had written a little note like downloaded, blah blah. I no, I didn't. I didn't email the right. I didn't copy the the regular email, which would have had the date. But, but that's close enough. Chip this on your pile. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have for correspondence. <coughs> uh, minutes. Oh, minutes of previous meetings. Oh. I have on um, first. I have a site walk on October third, which I have not prepared <coughs> um, in time for the last meeting. And this was a Miriam Daggett. You want, do you want to copy, Paul? Yes. Yes. Um, Thank you. Because there were, we, we yeah. had a, um, a quorum, so I wrote them up as minutes. But it's good to have anyway. Yeah. Was Miriam Daggett into Tasker? That's the one I've got here. October 3rd, okay. This is the first walk? No, it's the second, second one. This is the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Leanne and Paul started that one with us, and then yeah. they yes. couldn't stay they for very long. Yeah. Okay, that's right. <clears throat> yeah, that was well, nice that we got over to the task group. Same, she needed something that okay. taken to her over at the university. What? That's the stitching in case I did. Okay. We're looking at, we can look at this one together. Do you have this one? This oh, is an October, this is an October 3rd one mm -hmm. that we're looking at. This is um, just from one of the site walk oh, with Miriam Daggett. Uh -oh. We should probably put put the name of the property right in the title. Okay, let me add that. Uh, Miriam Daggett, so Tasker. Um, <clears throat> do where do you want that site walk for trails? Mary yeah. Daggett, Tasker. Okay. Yeah. Or, or yeah. Just so it's easy to see mm -hmm. at a glance what True. area we're talking about. Um, for everybody, it's uh, at edification. It's probably <laughs> good to mention right up under purpose mm -hmm. that this is land that's owned by the town, or that it was well, that was acquired or donated to the town. You put it right on top beside the other thing. It's just town-owned properties. Yeah. Where do you want that? Site walk for trails on town owned properties? Well, I was going <coughs> to say. Mary, well, just the second line can have the name of where we walk. Okay. Mary and Baggett and Tasker town owned properties. Okay. Um, so this was our second walk to Miriam Daggett. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then Celia and I had done Tasker like the week before. That's right. Yeah. yeah. This was actually the third walk for you. Yeah. Right? Because we did that yeah. first one when we saw the historic sites. Then you and Celia went out, and then you and you took us all out for this one on October 3rd. those photos to the library and they'll print them out. Oh, okay. 
and they have color. They'll print them in color for, for the files. Okay. Um, uh, continues should be continued. Yeah. Continued. I don't know if I mentioned it when I was talking about the trails, but I borrowed the, the projector from the library for our trails meeting, mm. and they're going to let us use it every month for that. Nice. And we got the big screen from the from the uh, conference room number one. Um, so, so you met it? Uh, yeah, it's still here. <laughs> <laughs> On the ground. <laughs> I guess I had forgotten that you um, held your meeting at the library. No, so we held we it. We here. held it here. Oh, we were going to hold it at the library, but then they had uh, Josh Judd coming, Judge okay. coming to do a program, so we had it here. And then I decided that was probably better anyway to just have it here. We have resources here. We have files. Okay, never mind. Then. Maps. But I'm just saying it's it's really nice to have some of these resources from the library to help us out, like the computers and the printer. Does anyone have photos of the red leaf trees and herbaceous plants at the pond edge? I do. Yes. <laughs> I've downloaded everything to my computer at home, but I think I still have some here. Let me go find it. was them. a nice walk, I have yeah, to say. I took some photos too, and I don't know where they took photos. Well, it's on me. in here, I, I noticed the photos. Okay. D, uh, just west of Pond D, period. Demir, Demir took a photo, period. So I might not have gotten all the photos, but I. I haven't sent you any, I apologize. Yeah. But I know I have them downloaded, I could. Yeah. And again, they can just be printed out of the <coughs> library. In color for free. It, it wasn't very uh, colorful yet. Mm. We were there. That's about the color that we saw oh, on that beautiful. pond. Yeah, those are the only three that I have from that walk. Got a lot from other walks. Nice. What was nice is they have cranberry cranberry bogs that have yeah. crept into the edge. Yeah. That's nice. <clears throat> um, I see in the notes uh, just there's sort of like a reconnaissance happening between the Conservation Commission and maps from Mark West. Would it be helpful if we had a volunteer, you know, here in the meetings or active at the at the sidewalks to sort of verify uh, things like that when we're out in the field to say, oh yeah, that is definitely the wetland well, line. The um, maps that we use for Miriam Daggett, um, Celia was able to get mm -hmm. when Mark West did the <coughs> wetlands yeah. and restoration information. Yeah, we had good maps from Mark West for that. Plus Celia was doing a GPX track. Okay. Um, not on this particular walk, but the two prior to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just wonder, my, my partner is a wetland scientist, and I've been trying to rope him into the Conservation Commission, but oh. my partner, but I uh. think he feels like his skills aren't needed. So I've been trying to bring something Tell back. him we'll bring cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Please bring have cookies. him join us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely, really. Celia has been wonderful because she's learned how to do these technologies for her other interest in um, um, tromping around New England looking for endangered plants mm. for the New England Wildflower Society. Mm -hmm. So she's learned how to do all of these things. But yeah, She put together a nice her. little map of the Ternanko property yeah. most recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, she likes to do that. <coughs> but if we didn't have Celia, we would be bereft. Are we all set with this? Do you I think? think so. Uh, anybody have any other corrections or permissions or additions? I uh, will entertain a motion to accept them as amended. So moved. Second. Second. Ooh, James. Second's all over the place. <laughs> Sorry. That was a quick note. Who's got number two? Paul, you can have it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Any well, motions made and set, sec, yeah, seconded to it? Approve the minutes of the site walk of October 3rd, 
Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Thank you. Thank you for doing this. So. You're welcome. The second um, set of minutes I have <coughs> is for November 13th. Um, that was last month. Paul, do you have a copy of those? No. Okay. I want to pass this along. It was for last month. I have a, last I month. a copy of those. Okay. Uh, I have them digitally. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take them back then. I can make my own corrections. We have Deb's from October, too. I'm sorry? We have Deb's minutes you from You have those? Yeah, she sent those out. Okay, I didn't see those. Okay. They're pretty rough in some ways, but... Um, yeah, I think you, as long as you get the details, it doesn't matter what the... Right. flow <coughs> is. I wasn't at this one, so I didn't... Mr. Kern needs the capital under conservation easement projects. Last line, Kern. Oh, yeah. And which set? Um, on the front, front side. side. On the 13th? Yeah, no, no, on th yeah, November 13th. Yeah, November 13th, first side, under conservation easement projects in bold. The last line, Kern needs to be capitalized. Capitalizing K, is that what you said? Yeah, the K. Okay. <coughs> She's already got a couple of places uh, with uh, where the M and map should be capitalized. Third line down on the back side. Where it says Great Bay National, Bay and National need to be in caps. I wonder what parts are that need to be capitalized. National needs to be capitalized too. Mm -hmm. Bay and Bay. National, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's where we, yeah, we did have a. Like another one, tax map, map. Right, that's correct. Yeah, that's where I got the sixty foot long. Um, I was also at the conservation um, commission annual meeting. Oh, cool! And I attended all of the water resource sessions. So that was the DES wetlands protection and enforcement conservation planning for water resource protection. So you went to the DES Wetlands Protection and Enforcement. Yep. And <laughs> conservation planning for water resource protection. Yeah, we, should, we, we, we had a chance to say hi as she flitted off one way and I flitted <laughs> off the other way. <laughs> uh, and also protecting natural resources through zoning and groundwater reclassification. Do you think they could have shorter titles? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Protecting, again. Protecting natural resources through zoning and groundwater reclassification. What do they mean by that? Um, like aquifer identification? Yeah. Um, and basically, uh, <laughs> and basically making your neighbors angry by telling them that they need to properly dispose of those rotting barrels in their backyard. <laughs> it was a really interesting uh, 
session. I'll say that, but it had me going, oh, how will we ever address these things? Yeah, 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 gently. <laughs> yeah, sure. exactly. <clears throat> yeah, thank, thank you. I have a quick question, uh, since I wasn't at that meeting. Mm -hmm. When you were talking with uh, Courtney and Sam about Earth Day and about the projects that they'd like to fund for mm -hmm. the conservation, did they have anything in mind? Or is that something that... Uh, what, it, for projects? Right. It said that they would like to uh, use the money that was raised for a Conservation Commission project. And I right. didn't know if there was a specific project no. or if that might be something no. that no. the Just Trails Committee pro could um, yeah. very, very much yeah. so. tap into. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because we, yeah. since we have no budget for the first year. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think we'll probably have to set up a, some sort of a special fund. Okay. I don't think I can throw it into the conservation fund and then pull it out for... Well, I'm not sure I can for trails and uh, I think it's best to keep them apart yeah. completely. Okay. Otherwise it's so gonna be so too maybe messy. We, we can have a dedicated fund for for trails. For the trails it would actually be projects. nice if we could and maybe we could do a little fundraising specifically from the community yeah. to help with that. Mm -hmm. And then we would have a place to put that money mm -hmm. when they donate it. So I'll, I'll talk to Chris about that too. Yeah, if you could set that up that would be really great. And then I would we report could. on that. Um, in January, at least, or I'll have you report on it, on um, what the status is of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know people will be interested in <laughs> having a little bit of, um, of a budget for mm -hmm. ideas that come forward. Okay. Uh, we're still on the minutes of the 13th? Yes. Um, I just thought it might be good to put under trail committee. This is the agenda will be posted just to indicate where the agenda will be posted. So I assume future agendas will be posted in the same. Wh where? Spot. where? Um, it was funded. It was uh, posted throughout this building in the library and the post office. As and uh, this particular one did not get posted. I sent it to her on time, but she was very. Don is very busy with the budget. So it is up there now, and future ones I'll try to get out to her earlier. That's so the that point I was trying to make that future agendas would be future agendas will be on posted the on the website, um, on the con you know the uh, town office, post office, library, and town website. Right. Technically, we only need to post it in two places. I think the more we get it out, the better. Don explained that it had to be posted in this building like three days in advance of the meeting. <laughs> um, the other ones could happen later <laughs> if they didn't happen by the third. Then and it didn't technically have to be on the website three days in advance, but we'll certainly be shooting to get them up, say, a week in advance. For the turtle signs, mm -hmm. are there... Uh, <coughs> Any left that haven't been assigned that need to be flipped down? Well, Bob and I came through Berry Road the other day. We didn't go on Rollins Road, but the turtle sign on Berry hadn't been flipped. <coughs> and I don't know if Kristen, because um, Deb uh, brought up the discussion at the last meeting, and I thought she said that Kristen had volunteered to do the Berry signs, Berry Road signs. But we still had Deerfield to do or something. It was just kind of messy. Mm -hmm. So um, Bob and I did the two that were remaining on, on Flutter and Deerfield. But, and just assumed that Christian, Barry still has Barry may or may not be done. Yeah. Barry oh, and um, Rollins. Rollins. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, so Rollins. So how many signs are there total? Well, there were six. Why you say were? Because the post doesn't have a sign on it at the bottom of Deerfield Hill. On Deerfield Road. Well, somebody actually removed it? Well, we think so. Rats. <laughs> they thought it was so cute, that's why. Yeah, they wanted it for it's that. possible that the, I don't know, off the, the town highway department, because they were the ones that put them up in the first place. Right? Well, the, the stake is there, the post yeah. is there. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. So it's possible they didn't, ha they didn't put a, the sign up? I don't know. 
because Deb Kimball has said, at least in three emails to me, I'm sure I saw a sign here. Mm. I don't. The mystery. I didn't ever see one there. You didn't Very see one. Of, well, no, and I was the one that suggested Perry Road because there were so many. Figure it out. No, no, no. Coming down Deerfield. Who put the sure. sign? That's the one that's oh, missing. Just before Flutter Street. Oh. As you're heading um, out oh. your way. It's missing. Well, there was no sign there. There was right. a sign post. Post. But that's coming from um, Nottingham Square, down the hill on Deerfield Road. Oh yeah. Just before Flutter Street on the right. There's a post with no sign. Yeah. Huh. And Deb was sure that she had seen a sign there. So maybe, so, you know. There's so. no sign anymore. How oh, difficult is it to flip the sign? Huh? Do we need a tool to flip the sign? Yes, yeah. you do. You need probably two. Okay. One to hold the nut in the back and the other to turn the nut in the front. Okay. And then. Like um, pliers and a wrench? Yeah, I need a pliers and a wrench yeah. or a socket. Uh, a socket would be better. Yeah. Just a socket would be better, but. Uh, it's, and you might even if it gets that. sits on there long enough, it's like a car. Johnny's six three. I'll just use him. Okay. <laughs> or an old, uh, old milk carton or something. But a washer is good to secure the front to the back, okay. so they don't. So that there's not one that's just flapping around. Mm. And what Bob and I did is we turned them so the point faces toward the road, and the large back is facing away from the road for snow plows. Rather than having, yeah, uh, yeah. That, yeah, so it's seen, flat seen toward the road. Got it. Turned yeah. it, turned it this it, it way. Seen the one I got it. I got it. Yeah, just just beyond the Leanne's house. I haven't. It's it was flipped, and I mean that's it's essentially the the vertical side is is this way, and the, you know, again a post, and then it sticks <coughs> out that way away, away from, from the road. Away from the road. road. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah. Just just so it plows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't smash it. Yeah. Okay. Less potential. Yeah, less potential. Yeah. Doesn't say they won't. Anything else for the minutes? Nope. Move to accept. Yes. I'll second those. You'll second. Uh, it's been moved and seconded that we approve the commission minutes of November 13th, 2017, as mm -hmm. amended. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Okay. Um, I have one more um, thing, if I can be obnoxious. The rehab? Uh, it's a report because that was the only one that, that did it. And it was on um, neither Sam nor Deb were able to um, attend. And it was a site walk on a property that is on 156. I'm just going to pass this around so you get some sort of a feeling. But here is 156 heading south to Raymond. And here's the big um, friend house over here. Yep. Where um, Deb um, does a conservation easement monitoring every year. This is the house just before the friend house on the right hand side, on the west side. Is that a red house? Yes, and, and with the, a big the barn. little white one is next to it. I, I'm it's not a red house, and then there's a barn. Right, and, and then and then this side. The, that's a little white one right there. Where this you're is a little camp. Yeah, a little be, camp. Yeah, used that, to be that part just of the sold original. recently. It did. It did. Okay, I know what um, you mean. So this was is property that's owned by uh, <laughs> Phyllis Rayhill, and um, and her son is is acting on her behalf. Uh, White's Grove Road used to come in this way, we used to come in um, through two stone posts, but the town repositioned it to make it more accessible for emergency vehicles and, and mm -hmm. people just turning in. And apparently down on the, on the lake, there's a, at least two dozen homes down there. Right, right, it's so pretty the, busy down there. This is just a conceptual. Um, if they need to um, carve the property into new lots, There'll be two proposed lots on uh, facing 156, 2.1 acres each, and then there'll be three lots uh, with um, ZBA approval that will be on White's Grove Road. Okay. And then I walked yep. the property with Mr. Runo, who is um, Phyllis Rahill's uh, son. Um, do I need to read this or? 
Probably, huh? Probably. I'll go really I, I fast. I have a quick question for you on this, yeah. Sue. Um, you said in the minutes that it's a Class 6 road. It's my understanding that's a private road. It's not a Class 6 road. I was told it was Class 6. Who told you it was Class 6? I think Mr. Bruno did. I don't think he's correct. Well, it's a private road. I think it's but a it's private. But it's maintained by the, by the... It is. All of the private roads along the lake are maintained by the town. So it's not Class 6. No, there, there are very few Class 6 roads in Nottingham. Uh, I just was looking this up the other day because it came up at the trails meeting. Um, French Road, which goes through to Epping, that's a Class 6 road. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, there's... Old Mountain Road over on the other side of the park mm -hmm. um, is one that comes off of Reservation Road. That's Class 6. And there are a couple of teeny little sections of other roads that are Class 6, according to the yeah, maps that I found that were... Uh, is, is Haynes one of them? Or? Oh, Haynes has a little bit of... Part of Haynes is mm -hmm. Class 6, and the rest of it is not. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll make that clear. Um, is there such thing as a Class 5 road? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. But um, but this all of almost all of those roads. Well, that's good to know. Are private, and that may have a bearing on whatever the planning board. Well, it has to go to ZBA. If yeah. this goes forward, it has to go to the ZBA, yeah. and then it'll come back formally to the planning yeah. board if they want to it's, go. It's not it. a Class Six road. Okay. Well, let me just read this um, very very quickly. On November eighth, Mr. Bradford Brad Bruno met with the planning board to discuss a potential subdivision. During a conceptual public meeting, the property is owned by Rehill Revocable Trust, Phyllis Rehill Trustee. Mr. Bruno is Mrs. Rehill's son and represented the trust. The conceptual subdivision was subdivided the property, map 63, lot 47, of 13.78 acres into six lots, one with a parent house and five new lots. All lots would be in excess of the minimum two acres. Two of the lots would front Raymond Road, Route 156, and the remaining three would abut onto White's Grove Road, a privately owned road well maintained by the town. During the meeting, Susan Mooney, planning board and NCC member, asked Mr. Bruno if it would be agreeable if commission members would be permitted to walk the property. Mr. Bruno extended an invitation to the commission. A date and time was later determined. On November 29th, 2017, at 3.30, Susan Mooney, representing the Nottingham Conservation Commission, met with Mr. Bruno, son of Phyllis Rahill, trustee of the I don't need to put that in. I already know that. I moved some stuff around, I guess. <clears throat> Peter White 61, Peter White 61 White Grove Road remained at the house in case other NCC members arrived later. We walked south along Raymond Road from the parent house location to the property's southern boundary. We entered the property between the double stone wall, the potential property line that would separate the two lots along the road. We then go back to the house in a northerly direction. At the house, we walked down White's Grove Road and noted where the three new lots would be located and then returned to the main house. The site walk ended at 4, 17 p.m. The property is open wooded with many white pines and hardwoods. Most of the property is upland soils, very rocky. Oh, my God. Walking down White's Grove Road, there is a gentle slope toward the other homes in Patuckaway Pond. Two small culverts, culverts run under the road from northeast to southwest and appeared to drain a seasonal small wetland in addition to periodic rain events. There were no invasive plants noted. Mooney was satisfied that there were no outstanding issues to be addressed or recommendations called for over and above best practices followed during development. <laughs> so I'd like to send this along to Mr. Bruno and, and then if the planning board um, asks for um, our input, I could make this available to them. Any, any other suggestions for clarity? Okay, thank you. I'll make those on edits. Okay. Any other minutes? Mm -mm. Well, we have Deb's minutes from October 16th, oh, yeah. but um, hmm. I have like a lot of edits to this one. So I don't... Paper priority, we, you know, Maybe a lot uh, of them are just little tinkering things like spelling shippy rice correctly or Tenanko right and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, and 
Oh, yeah, Ternanko is in there several times. Bear paws, B E A R hyphen paw. So that's in several places. Do you want to? Um, there's no hurry for that. Did so wait till the next meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah that and sounds good. Otherwise, I mean, it'd be nice if Deb were here too, mm -hmm. in case there's anything that she wrote that we're uncertain about. Yeah, that would I mean, be at least she captured, you know, the essence of what happened there in, in pretty great detail. But there are a couple of gaps. Um, you know, so. But the thing that we have to pay attention to in these notes, if, if anybody else has them, is it talks about the status of Trenanko, Shippy Rice, and Kennard, or Kennard, Kennard, I guess, um, and what the goals are <coughs> for trying to get this stuff done by the end of the year, which, you know, the status of the surveys and all that. Is and, that and something the that would be better left confidential? No, it's no, just it's no. just a, difficult to get our uh, decks in, in order. We don't have the answers to these questions right now, and we'd probably need to. Right. You know, when you're dealing with all these different parties, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's just, and and there were I questions in here like, should we do all these properties at one public hearing? So we we need to address yeah, hearings. We're ready, to go one we're ready to go with two properties at one meeting. Yeah, and I think that would be fine. But that would be Shippy Rice and Ternanko, right? Yeah. Yes. And the other will just have to wait for the warrant article, unfortunately. I think waiting for Deb to be here is a good idea. Yeah, I do too, because there are a lot of question marks here, and I think I did provide a little bit of input into this. But what, what, what was the date on, on that list? October 16th. Okay. She just sent it out a couple of days ago and said, go at it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have anything, any other thing? Any, I would any like to bring up, I brought this up once before and asked if we could put it on the agenda at some point, and as a review of the strategic plan. I don't know when we reviewed that last. Yeah, it's supposed to be this past spring. We just can't get to it. Right, so I'm wondering if we could put it on an agenda. It, in planning board, we um, dedicate, of the two meetings a month, the second meeting of the month is dedicated to um, household things like looking at our rules of order and what we do and blah blah blah. I think we looked at that strategic plan and when was it? Oh yeah, it was two years ago. We, so two it's time. It's right. time. Right. Yeah, right. It's so time. we should have Same. reviewed it this year. I so maybe we could do that at the January meeting. Could be. Are we going to do it at the meeting? You know, we've had workshops in the past, but this would be a, at a meeting, not a separate. Okay. No, I'm they, just, they're all meetings, whether we dedicate to one task or several no, tasks. No, but in the, sometimes from the strategic plan, we've dedicated a workshop, workshop. night. Yeah, And yeah. so I'm just asking, oh, would yeah. this be a workshop night for discussion, or yeah. would this just be something to raise at the meeting and then schedule a workshop that's, night that's prob to address? We can probably bring probably it up at sense. the meeting, and if we have enough time, we can, we can review it, and if we don't, then maybe we can okay. schedule it. It takes a workshop. while, though, at the meeting, you know, to go yeah. through every item and... Right, that's why it was. And it's really, in, really Kristen's um, mm. project for that. That reminds I just me. To put it back on oh the yes, agenda. yes, thank you for that. that. Reminds me, you asked about dark skies. I think it's highly unlikely. Okay. Just, just that good we to will know. have that presentation. Okay. Adjourn. Hey, we leave. Yay. What? <laughs> hey, it's usually me. I'll second that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll second that we adjourn. Uh, all God. those in favor? Aye. 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 It's not even Anybody? nine o'clock yet. Anybody, Anybody opposed? That, that feels good. Yeah. The ayes have it.